The sound of the final buzzer means it's hangover time. So grab a drink and join your host, Alphonse Sidney, for a Miami Heat Beat post game show. <coughs> Sorry. After watching all that fucking choking tonight, <coughs> I need to make myself a drink. Um, woo! I saw I saw the Phoenix Suns show. I saw the uh, saw the refs choke. Ooh, I'm sick of it. I saw <laughs> Chris real Paul one. choke. <laughs> woo! Um, it's been a rough one. Let me just finish making my drink. Got a little Tito's. You know what I'm saying? I got a little, little Did you make a Costco run or something. <laughs> What's that Kirkland? No, that's a Tito's. That's Tito's. That's, oh, okay. that's name brand. Just making sure. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Crab Smart Peddler, but that's name brand. But yeah, after, after, woo. There's a whole lot of choking tonight. So yeah, I, after watching, my my throat got dry. My throat got dry. I'm I'm Alpha Sydney, aka Alpha Nine Five Four. This is Miami Heat beat post game show. Hangover time. Bring me out, brass, because I got I got to get something to drink. My throat is dry, y'all. My, it's just, it's, it was just a whole lot of choking mm. going on. I, I, I mean, I watched the the Milwaukee Bucks down nine in the fourth quarter and come back and win. Um, I saw Chris Paul. Uh, I will get into Chris Paul. What happened to Chris Paul? I don't. I don't blame it all on choking. Um, but I saw that man uh, dribble, try to dribble through double teams a few times. And throw the ball uh, into the corner and off his legs and off his whatnot. I saw the referees literally not know what the fuck to do in the middle of a, a NBA Finals game. Um, and Devin Booker, Devin Booker did his thing. I'm not. I'm not gonna hate on no Devin Booker. We had a big argument about Devin Booker last game. Devin, Devin, if it, listen, if it's if Siobhan was right. And he responded to Monty Williams, and he just had a great game because, you know, Monty sat him down last time. Whatever it was, Devin Booker had a great game. I'm not even mad that they didn't call that foul because he had some suspect-ass fouls called on him before. But, Brass, I, what I, I need a second because all the choking going around, it just has my throat dry. Let's find out what everybody else is drinking to get their shit right. Moose, Moose, what you drink? What you what you drinking tonight? First of all, I just want to say I'm only here so the check clears. The <laughs> hardest of thirties, okay? I'm timing it. I'm timing it. We're the hardest of thirties tonight. But besides that, I'm excited to be here, guys. You know I got my monkey shoulder over here. <laughs> We're here to celebrate, I don't know, the fucking the refs. They played a great game or some shit. I'm going to hit them one time with a drip drop. Mushy's still uh, drinking the same bottles of monkey's ass. That, listen, <laughs> I, I'm Tiff, trying to make it last the season. We're close. We're close. Tiff, you can't get the giant jug like Alf. This is the third one, though, of the year. So, I mean. This is my third one this week. I just <laughs> um, he's, he's not even joking. Also not in, yeah, I'm not, also I'm not the day job. I wish I was joking. Uh Tiff, what are you drinking tonight? The last drop <laughs> of the Tito. <laughs> like I ain't even give a shit for a glass. It's plastic from here on out. Okay. <laughs> you just try to get to the end of the season, man. You just trying to make it. I'm lipping. I'm you, lipping. You you like Jimmy in the playoffs. <laughs> man, just <laughs> just try to... <laughs> Just try to get, just try to get out there and shoot your damn commercials with Dwayne Johnson. That's it. That's it. Uh, Brass, what are you drinking tonight? Uh, I wanted to kind of keep it classy. I was feeling pretty good about this game, uh, but I'm also trying to keep it kind of clean. So I made a Vesper, you know. So it was gin, vodka. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of strong, but it it's smooth. And but honestly, this is like this fucking series. <laughs> This was a good game, though, man. Yeah, it was. It was a good it was. half. It, it was a good half. 
It was, but like, no, you know, though, Alf, you were like, thing. man, the, you know, it'd be good that the Bucks, low key, good the Bucks to get, you know, are, are in the finals, so we could like the pettiness will be amped up. All I am is just more miserable. <laughs> it's not really Siobhan, making the shows any easier. Siobhan, can you bring some uh, some joy to this occasion? Like, I feel like you're enjoying these finals, or you're enjoying the the excellence. Of uh, Chris Middleton, who just who annoys the living fuck out of me. Somebody has to. Um, he looks like a barracuda. Um, <laughs> took took human form. Um, <laughs> someone said I look like a tennis instructor. Listen, I was just gonna call that out. <laughs> Brian yeah, so who Goins said that? Brian like, Goins. <laughs> listen, that's a good one. <laughs> someone, if some, if you're what asking kind why of fancy I'm wearing pride shit and Pride Month is over. I always support pride. Also, my fucking taper is fucked up. So we're rocking the visor tonight. Siobhan, what are you drinking? And, I, and Siobhan, go straight into how you feel about this series. Because I feel like we're all Debbie Downers about this shit. And you, you're kind of enjoying this. Or do, I have I, I mean, I can't understand. No, I mean, I don't know about the excellence of Chris Middleton. But... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Everything else he said was um, <laughs> pretty all right. You know, I, I have been enjoying it. Um, you know, Devin played well tonight. I, I do think he responded to to. to... Oh shit! Lefty Lane says <laughs> Alf looks like he has his cell phone clip on his belt that sticks out, and his shirt tucks in so it shows. Listen, man. Yep. I do. I know. I look like or a dad like in a soccer game. Buckles. It's okay. It's all good. Go ahead, Siobhan. I'm sorry. Um. No, 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 you're fine. Um, no, I've been enjoying it um, for the most part. Uh, I enjoyed kind of what I saw tonight until they just like, I don't know. It was fun to watch, but Phoenix had every opportunity to win the game. Like Milwaukee was trying to give them the game. Um, and they just didn't <laughs> want it, couldn't hold on to it, literally and figuratively. You know, Chris, you know, has some other stuff going on, I suppose. But like, I don't know. I think it's been it's been cool to see. I don't necessarily have a dog in this fight. I want Phoenix to win. So I'm, you know, hate watching is, is a thing. It's cool to do, but I've been enjoying it. The refs be rigging, you know, this. So it's funny. I watched the game with my roommate, shout out to her, um, <clears throat> went to the combine and stuff. And so she was sitting here watching with me. She was like, they are fucking this game up. Oh my God. Oh, like, I want to call Tom. Oh, my God. <laughs> fucking it up. Oh, Lord. <laughs> So but I'm like not just even know. on like the obvious stuff, on like the obvious stuff and some like lesser stuff. It's like, no, they are fucking this game up. This is crazy. <laughs> they about I to give you game here. Ace, They about to give Ace us says seven. I, Ace <laughs> says I got him Air Monarchs on. Um, by the way, no, I don't. But <laughs> you got the white ones on with the with the blue check. I do own a pair of Air Monarchs. Um, not gonna lie. I can't. That, that's a long story. I'm gonna say that one for light, light skin opinions. I think I told that one on light skin opinions. I came out of a divorce, not been in the game in years. Walked that's up into where the, you get the air monarchs. Walked up into the <laughs> fucking barber shop with some air monarchs on. I have never been roasted so bad in my life. Yeah, you deserve. I it. walked up yeah. into the fucking barber shop. I had them air monarchs, and they were killing your boy. Um, but most. I, I, listen, we, we talk about refs now and again on this show, but it, it's not even like the refs were one-sided. I do feel like the Bucks are allowed oh, They to were be, fucking it up for everyone. Yeah, but I, <laughs> I feel like the Bucks are allowed to defend like no other team in the NBA. Right. Like they are allowed to be way more physical than any other team in the league. Mm -hmm. But it's not even about that tonight. It is just about sheer ineptitude. Like, it, it, it was just so bad. Like, watching that game, it's like, what are y'all even calling? What are y'all not calling? Balls are going off people's knees, legs, fingers. They're not it, – it was just a shit show. Listen, like I said earlier, they were calling it bad for both sides. So I'm not here trying to, you know, pick any sides. But with that being said, if I was a Milwaukee Bucks fan, oh, my God, Devin – like, in my mind, Devin Booker fouled out of this game. Had yeah. they come back and won it on a Devin Booker shot like that, I I am desperate to know what was going through the ref's head at that moment. Like, was he just swallowing the whistle and he was just like, I'm not, no matter what happens, because he he almost froze there. That was such an obvious call there at the end. Uh, but yeah, the refs suck. This series has been, eh. it was a great second half though. And shout out Devin Booker who played phenomenal until he fouled out. Take me out. 
But here's the thing. It's <laughs> uh Shmeet this moment says Al dressed like he, he cool puts on water. way too much cool water, correct? Um <laughs> Tiff, it ain't just that like if you're if you're a Bucks fan, you're mad about the Booker shit. But if you're a Suns fan, you're just mad about the fact that like you can't defend like I watched Devin Booker defend Drew Holiday and get yeah. a foul called on him. And then on the other side, Pat Connaughton defend Devin Booker the same exact way and nothing gets called. It happened multiple times. So, like, (laughs) it's one of those times you walk away and both fans of both teams were probably like, these refs, it's trash. They were trash. The the sad part is is that they were so trash, Phoenix still could have won the game. Like, they still could have won the game. So, at some point, yeah, they was trash as fuck. But Phoenix had every opportunity to win the game. Um, Between Chris Paul and Cameron Payne, neither one of them actually made a complete guard tonight. That's why they lost the game. Yeah. That's why, literally, that's why they lost the game. Devin Booker needed a modicum of help. Just one of them. He needed one of them. Just something, please, for God's sake. And I was a little disappointed that Cameron Payne didn't give what he's been giving all year. Yep. So this yep. is not me dragging old school Cameron Payne from long, long time ago that all oh, he could do was dance oh, long, long time ago. No, nah, he, he wasn't contributing what he normally does. Exactly. And, and they so, felt it. They needed that bad yep, when yep. Devin was So on between the him and Chris Paul, that's why they lost. Yeah. Yeah. The, the refs yeah. were shitty, but they had every opportunity. Yeah. Honestly, three less turnovers, yeah. five more points from Cameron Payne, yeah. you won the game. Yeah, and, and just real quick, yeah, shout out, shout out DeAndre Ayton who was killing oh, it on the board killing on tonight. the board. Well, oh my well, God, why can't we? Up everything. Right, but if you want to talk about fouls, let's be realistic because somebody got to call it out. Every block by Giannis ain't a block. Oh my, my God. man is getting. Come on, there was a there was one. They were like, look at that awesome block. But the recovery. And, 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 and Chris, no, the one where oh. Cameron Payne was smashed in between Giannis Bro. and someone else. He literally was smashed in between the two of them trying to get a layup, and Giannis is on top of him. Yo, he That's treat, a foul. He treated the opposing player like a fucking boogie board, all right? He, ha- he hit Chris Paul so hard, he went flying. Y'all ever seen, I forget what movie it was, it was Ben Stiller. And he's oh, talking about oh, Long Cape Pollock. Yeah. Long Cape Pollock. Yeah. 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 Yep. If, if Yannis didn't have a shirt on, you'd have a mouth full of his fucking chest hair. And then, but then he blocks it after he puts his nipple in your mouth. Um, Looks but that's like a, a body of like a Bucks fan. Like, but yeah, come on. Ugh. Those are fouls. <laughs> Those are fouls. They way. are fouls. But listen, like, it, it, it ain't just being hateful. You know what I'm saying? We no. do the hate watch. We do the pig yeah. shit. Right. But Siobhan, watching this game, man, like Devin Booker did everything he could. Yeah. They called some bullshit fouls. He had to sit down for spells. But when he sat down, every once in a while, you would think Chris Paul's about to he hit like one jumper, hit a runner, and you yeah. thought he was gonna do something, and then, and then nothing. nothing. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what happened. And then nothing. Dev sat down, and then yep, exactly what you said. Chris had two buckets, and you're like, okay. Is this where Chris, you know, turns it on? Is this where he, you know, settles in for the game? It was not. Is this where Cam sees, okay, Chris doesn't have it. Maybe I can, it was not. Um, Mikel had been playing, you know, really well this series. You didn't really see, you know, that punch from him. Cam Johnson shot, you know, about as well as he, he'd he been shooting. <clears throat> um, I don't know yet. Like you said, Devin just needed somebody. Like, come on. I, I, I know I shot the bed last game. I shot the bed the first half of game two. Come like we 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 here. They are get trying to give us the game. Someone come with me and, and let's go take it. And right. he was in the alley by himself. Again, you know looking what Chris looking Paul at Devin. Cost us right, huh? You know what Chris Paul just cost us? What you mean freedom? <laughs> seven. Games. Oh, it's going seven. It's going yeah. seven. He yeah. just cost. Yeah. We want yeah. free. Yeah, we we <laughs> want free. <laughs> Saturday, yeah. you know, Saturday show go, just gonna be a replay of Chris Middleton mid range shots. But watching um, watching Devin Booker tonight, like to Alf's point last time, it's like God damn, like he's he is so explosive. Let he him is play. so good. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care how bad his defense. Let the motherfucker play. But he might have needed a fire. I think. I do yeah, want to say yeah. this. I'm with that Tiff for real. Uh, yeah. 
He came out hungry tonight. Yes. Okay, yeah. come on. Okay. No, so I, you just I, I get not it. Okay. Right. Yeah, we talk about that. <laughs> I get it. We did it last. Yeah. But I, I, do want, I but, know, I know. I just, right, I, but I, I still, I'm still kind of with Alf last time. But, but whatever. Devin, but on. Devin Booker had nine free throws. Jay Crowder had seven. Mikael Bridges, DeAndre Ayton, and Chris Paul had zero fucking free throws. Well, the fact that Ayton didn't. The other it's, two, whatever, because, uh, come on, the going. other two. Yeah. But Aiton, how many rebounds did he have? Like 16? Aiton had 17 rebounds. So you mean to tell me? Not a single fucking time? All the times my arms is in the air, they not getting hit? Yeah, that's you, true. That's what you're telling me? I don't, know about, I don't know about this. This uh, some, it's, uh, it is. CB3 says something wrong with CB3's hand, but that's no excuse for all the turnovers. Well, he's got two more uh, ligaments. I say that's a, that disagree. Kind of <laughs> go and, yeah. That's literally <laughs> like causation. Kind of hand in hand. <laughs> so, so wrong my hand. My emails ain't going out fast enough. All right. right. You know what I'm saying? That's my, my job is mostly sending emails. I'm right. like, oh. Why? Why would you send so many? My my hand hurt, bitch. Like, like it, I don't play basketball for a living. Like, I go click. So I was like, listen, I, I made you know we make. I made the the excuse for Devin Booker last game. I don't feel like I made an excuse. I just said there was a reason um, that he didn't play. And if you were going to sit him down, but here's the problem: there is no sitting down Chris Paul for the uh, for the Phoenix Suns. No, because it's if, if it's not him, it's campaign, and we saw what campaign did tonight. He campaign, lost. they there was a, 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 a <laughs> there was a fast break, and I believe it was Drew Holiday, and he just watched his ass just drive straight. <laughs> and, and Cam Johnson's over here like guarding three people, like can yep. someone help me? Cam Johnson is is he's adorable. Okay. Well, like, I, nobody should leave Cam Johnson by yeah. himself on a fast break. I feel bad for Cam Johnson. Campaign was just like you on your own, bro. Like I don't get paid for defense. I get paid for dancing, looking like Sid from Ice Age, and making shots here and there. That's all I get paid to do. That's all I get paid to do. I mean, it is. I put that out there, and I let y'all hang out there, just like y'all to drive. My bad. To drive. You're fine. But to, yep. to, to but Tim's they, point and to that point, that's not even, we're not talking about when he was. When that was, all he's right. paid to do was was dance, and, you know, be goofy and be hyped. No, like, we're asking you to, to make plays. You've been making plays. He didn't make plays tonight in times where plays needed to be made. Well, I would have put, um, and, and this probably would have got us all fucked up on defense, but I would have put Cam Johnson in and, and took Chris Paul out. Yeah. And I would have ran a backcourt of Cam Johnson and campaign. Just Guess win. what? If they can't do nothing else, they gonna run up and down. Yeah. At least. At least. Now, I, I, but I, I listen. My thing is, I think Chris that's Paul got turn the problem though. Chris Paul uh, got you. <laughs> I mean, Chris Paul was turning the ball over crazy. But do you, t- this Moose? Do you take Chris Paul out? Like, do you listen? When, I, I you don't win? take. I don't take out Chris Paul until he tells me, "Hey, <laughs> I'm, I'm a detriment to the team. Take me out." Yeah. Because CP3 at and I hate th- I hate this phrase, but it's the truth. CP3 at like 60, 70 percent is still better than what you got in campaign. And yeah, it wasn't. But no, no, no. I trust CP3 to at least make the right basketball decision and set up the offense as best as he can. Yeah. And he I can't it. say that with him. He did it. He did it. But you have to ride with that dude. But you don't. That's what I'm saying. You didn't Giannis ride last said, week. Someone said yes. Giannis had the best block in NBA Finals history, and no one's no, talking about why it. Why no, he doing no. this? No, he didn't. It why was a bad block. We pass. say that every single year, by the way. Devin, right. Every year there's a block. Devin threw a really bad this? pass that why gave do Giannis the angle to block that. <laughs> Stop on. doing that. Someone said, why Al for an advisor inside the house at night? Because my <laughs> hairline is fucked up. My uh, my haircut appointment is tomorrow. You ain't y'all ain't gonna see me with the fucking LeBron jagged ass hairline. I need my barber to do magic and make that shit look straight. It's just y'all like gonna... a hat. <laughs> What's the difference? It, look, m- <laughs> Moose wearing a hat, but nobody talking shit to Moose. Backwards hey, in the chill. house. Chill. Nobody saying nothing about that. Look, Ca- Cowboys two K nine said LeBron's was better. Was he talking about LeBron's hairline? On the block. <laughs> like, no, I'm no. That? I think he's talking about LeBron's hairline. <laughs> I, I yeah yeah. <laughs> Listen. It definitely was not better. <laughs> I like the backwards visor. Do it again. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Whoa, like- MTV <laughs> Spring Break 2003. That's what I'm saying. I look like Jerry. <laughs> Jersey. Jerry. Jerry. 
Turn you it are back not around. the father. Right. <laughs> Oh, man. Just doing that made me lose a millimeter off my fucking hairline. Oh, Thank you, Siobhan. Can't sorry, play. With, can't mm-hmm. play with a forty-year-old hairline like that. Fuck you talking about? Oh, that um, friction. My bad. <laughs> that's a lot of friction. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of friction. Um, <laughs> okay, I want to kind of get into DeAndre, DeAndre Ayton a little bit. DeAndre. Um, <laughs> What I say? You play too much. Andre, Andre Ayton, uh, DeAndre Ayton, um, three for nine. There was this conversation: Is he better than Bam? Yo, Brass. <laughs> what did yeah. I say? Yeah, I Yon- right. No, you say Andre Ayton, like Yon- Yon- Giannis mm-hmm. and Trey. <laughs> Yandre, Listen, I've been drinking. Yandre Antetokounmpo, see. I've been drinking. A, I've been drinking a long time. Um, but DeAndre, there was a uh, there was a conversation that this motherfucker is better than Bam. Um, and someone said he's offensively better than Bam, which yeah. which yeah. I found offensive as fuck. Um, he shouldn't. And the thing is, he was three for nine, and I'm not bagging on DeAndre because I felt like a lot of times where. That's funny. Where he did he he made a mistake on offense, he came back and made up for it defensively. But I mean, are we we really putting him in the same atmosphere as Bam right now, or was that just prisoner of the moment bullshit from NBA fans, Tiff? I mean, it could be both. Depends on how he how this series pans out for him because offensively he was great up until what game what did he game one of this series because yeah he's been good so we can't say he's he's not as good as bam because he showed us he could be but we don't know if he can he can sustain it i just don't think he's going up against i mean like literally he's being smashed in between brooke and Giannis all night he's getting hacked he's not getting calls so we know he's got the skill set we've seen him do fadeaways we've seen him do hook shots we've seen him hit the 15 foot jump shot like he has all the moves does he have the consistency not right now but that's the same thing with bam go ahead. he's go still ahead, young but my here's my thing with bam there's a guy siobhan go ahead so one yes that's <laughs> the same thing with bam he's still young we haven't seen it from him consistently yet and look at the bigs that deandre has played better than this entire playoffs he outplayed the fuck out of ad he outplayed Jokic. He's been playing well all season. Like there is a reason that he was the, what he was the number one overall pick when he was number drafted, one right? overall. Like there, mm-hmm. and that is for a reason. He has incredible. He has you know like good bones, like a solid. Found, like he has. He's made up of great got stuff. Good and, bones. No, for real. Like he, 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 he does. <laughs> he does. Um, I think he's he has a. He's definitely more offensive minded than Bam. And I think his bag is a little bit bigger than Bam's. He, he has you are post wild. moves. You are no. wild. You're talking about him. Uh, Bam brings the ball up, but he's a point center. Like he passes that, the ball. Like, we're talking about everything I, on offense. We're not just talking about within five feet of the rim, what his okay. bag is. Okay. And even stri- go ahead, Moose. No, no, no. I'm I'm here to back you up, Siobhan, because I do. I don't know if I'm going to say his bag is deeper than Bam's, but here's the difference. DeAndre Ayton has had to bring his bag to every single game. He's always been somebody that has had to contribute way more offensively than Bam would put on his shoulders. At least in college, we could say that. Um, And uh, one thing that I also want to say just to the kind of like the outlier of maybe why DeAndre Ayton uh, took such a big jump this year He's also playing with a legitimate yes. point guard that is making yes. the game much easier yes. for him. Yes. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that yeah. that is a big outlier. But with that being said, I do not want to discredit. I think DeAndre Ayton will flourish even more offensively. I just think I, Chris Paul I, I, is, is I like accelerating it. I like DeAndre Ayton a lot. I really do. I like him. I think he's like he's a Tyson Chandler style rim running big who can play defense and do a lot of things and do things offensively around the rim that just makes it easier for everybody. But when did Tyson Chandler flourish the most? He he flourished the most next to Chris Paul. Like these, like these guys, like these rim running bigs, I I just think Bam is so much more than a rim running big. Um, And I think DeAndre Aiden is a little bit more than, but when you talk about an offensive bat, we're talking about Bam sitting, you know, DeAndre Aiden and bringing up the ball. 
DeAndre ain't, 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 ain't okay. you know, so orchestrating when Bam, offense. When, when Bam brings it up, how often is he looking to do something with it past bringing it up and pitching Now, that's back? a whole different story. That, well, okay, that so that's coach? that's to his back, though. He's not he's not attacking when he's, he's – yeah, he's advancing it past half court and pitching it back. But he's you're talking not, about a guy who can't even do that. So if you're talking about bags – you th- DeAndre Ayton ain't doing that. He ain't. You don't really have to. It's two different types of bags here. There's different I, pa- exactly. Yes, now you're talking, different if you're talking about a low post, a low post bag, close. who's got who's got a better low post game? It's DeAndre Ayton. It's not even close. But offensively, who brings more to the table? It's it's Bam Adebayo. It's not even to me. It's not even close. And then on on defense, now who who protects the rim better? It's DeAndre Ayton. Like get out of here. But if you're talking about who can switch one through five. That's Bam out of buy. Well, so I think to Moose's point, I mean, yeah. if if the Heat can add a legit, right. like a true point then guard, we can actually finally then you, this I shit think out. it can be it can be an easier comparison. Now I want now the, okay before we because before we get into Bond's breakdown, <clears throat> I want to ask you guys. I wonder sometimes if you do bring a legit point guard and 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 next to Bam, is Bam even going to know how to play with that dude? No. Because we watch him on Team USA, when he doesn't have the ball in his hands, Bam don't know what the fuck to do. He got to learn. Yeah, I, I hope he will. But like, did they break him? <laughs> like, did did they put so <laughs> did, 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 did he put so much on him uh, from a playmaking standpoint that they've almost broken this motherfucker? Like, I, I, I I'm afraid of that sometimes. They don't have anyone on Team USA trying to actually get it to him, so that's well, yeah, not even fair to USA judge bad. there. Thank you. Right. Right. That's, that's not fair point. to judge there. Yeah. Great point. But I do think there is something to be said. Like, will he? Will is his natural big man game? Like, will that come out if he had? I don't know. The truth is, Pop doesn't want Bam to play too good. Yes, because yeah. it makes his no, decision last time oh, look yeah. way worse. You know what? I think King Jock just said that's the right, the, the perfect fair, fucking thing. Uh, he Jock. said, "I'm trying. My fuck, my mouth ain't working." It says King uh, King Jock says Aiden is a better center, Bam is a better player. I think that is a perfect way to put it, and I think that's um, fair. That's and fair. Probably because Bam's a forward. It's fair for now. It's very Hi. fair, and it's fair for now. Hi, Key. Hi, <laughs> motherfucking Key. Um, but let's let's actually get into what we came here for, what the people came here for. Let's get into Bonds breakdowns. You do so much. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me break it down so it can forever and consistently be broke. Um, we just have a few Suns offensive sets and, and one really, really good um, defensive set. Go ahead. So, pause. So the whole series we've been trying to like, or I've been trying to figure out what is the their their strategy with playing Brooke? How and where do they want him guarding DeAndre? There's no reason for Brooke to be trying to stop Chris here. Yes, he pokes at it and you know it causes Chris to stumble a bit, but go ahead and play. <clears throat> Doing that pause. He allows DeAndre to get behind him. Like there's no you've been in the drop this whole thing. Why are you out here trying to like Poke at stuff you don't have any business poking at. Now you look dumb. Go ahead. Fumbles it. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Kicks out. Again, pause. Brooke, why are you that far up? Why are you that far up? You've been playing DeAndre. What are you doing? <laughs> You've been playing DeAndre below the, like, between the, the charge circle and the broken circle. Why are you that high up? Now there's nothing in the back. Go ahead. Chris just has free lane. I didn't understand that. Um, that was one of his three made baskets. Right. Mm. Oh, sorry, five. Oh, way, way off. <laughs> um, what's happening here? Oh, okay, pause. So, oh, why did it pause on the flash? Um, Crazy. All right, so yeah, they just set up in the office. Go ahead, my bad. In here. All right, so pause. Jay wanted to get it to DeAndre. Jay's fronting him. DeAndre was pointing to get it back to Devin because that's another kind of high-low look from the top of the key. That would have been a long pass to make. 
Pat Connaughton over here was in bad defense because I think this is Mikel. Mikel wasn't even deep in the corner. Like he was high enough in the corner to where Pat should have seen him. He doesn't. I don't know why. Again, he's he's having to help for DeAndre. Mikel does the good thing. He comes flashes to the you know elbow area, pause. I mean play. Sorry. Um, and they have a good high low look situation. He doesn't take it. That's a good shot. But that type of look is there. It's probably something they maybe should have looked at. Go ahead. Um, so pause here. DeAndre says the screen, had he opened up differently, he has Giannis on his back and this play could be over. Cause that's either a dive and a bucket for him or, you know, whoever this is guarding Devin, I think that's fat has to come over. Devin flashes up. That's a good skip, whatever. DeAndre should have opened- Portis over commits and Cam oh, yep. Johnson And then Cam Johnson, yep. If DeAndre puts Giannis on his back, that sucks so much out of this possession. Go ahead. He doesn't. We don't get a shot. Nothing here. Kick back out here. Pause. In setting this screen here, right here. If DeAndre just dives straight down, his first two steps are like wide. In doing that, it's a dunk. Yeah. If he if he dives down, then um, Chris definitely has to come over, and whoever that is needs to get in bounds and get in the short corner in the dumping spot that's a you know that's a strong move deandre bows out too much small things but it makes a difference um go ahead and i don't remember what the rest of this looked like oh yeah and but but he maintained eye contact that was what i saw today maintain eye, eye contact and pass um last thing this was their defensive possession to open the, the start of the half everybody does a great job here pause Chris doesn't, or whoever this, I think this is Chris. Chris doesn't let PJ cross to the other side of the court. He forces him to cycle back out, same side. Go ahead. Pause. Devin fights over top. Go ahead. Pause. Mikel is fighting with him. He stays with him. He's going to get a little bit behind. Keep going. Pause. Devin shows and stays long enough. Mikel keeps coming to get back. Devin's going to get back. Go ahead. Pause. Jay traps here. Like Jay forces whoever this is with the ball to have to turn back into the area that he just came from, which also allows Jay to recover to Brook. Go ahead. Middleton. Yep. And then we get a bad shot at the end. <laughs> right? Like he's. I thought that was a beautiful sequence to defensively to start the, the second half. It's like, yeah, if, if Chris, you just want him to, like, I don't know. It's just something like he plays well, but you just don't want to root for him. I just but, I, like I watched that whole game and I was like, the Suns did the the what they needed to do to win, and they just did it. <laughs> like right. it, like it was it's weird to say it. Like they did what they needed to do to win, and like it was just so many times that they could have took control of the game and they didn't. Like right. I, I I swear it's like watching the fucking Miami Heat sometimes. Like when you're watching them play the fucking Knicks in the regular season, or not the Knicks, or because they beat the shit out of the Knicks um, in the regular season, but you're watching them play the Wizards in the regular season, and you're watching them, they're they're better. And if they just do what they're supposed to be doing and they complete plays, they should win by 15. And then you're watching them, and it's like there's two minutes left. And like, why are you up two? Right. Why it's are four or five tied? possessions, and then why from are there, you down three? Why are you down five? Why are you down eight? Nigga, it's, it's, what, what happened? Like, what happened to this game? Like, like you're watching gift. this shit. It, it's just don't, wild. Don't worry about it, Alf. You're not gonna have to watch this again next year. Ain't neither one of these teams coming back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know that? Like this um, uh, fluke is fucked. Coming back where? To the, to the finals. finals. Oh, I mean. If every look, you got a real off season. Everybody's yeah. healthy, yeah. hitting the ground running. Man, neither one of these teams are coming back. Utah and Denver would smack the fuck out the Phoenix Suns. Uh, everybody's healthy, fully healthy. The Lakers. I mean, come on. I don't know. Brooklyn. I mean, the Suns are good. Uh, yeah, the Suns I, are good. The Suns are, but they're not the great Suns right now. And the Suns they're not great to run through a healthy yeah, but Western we, Conference. Yeah, and we were just and we were just talking about like you know Chris Paul's injury. I mean, you know, there's he, there's, not, there's shit. I enjoy, first of all, I Listen, enjoy this. I'm, I'm trying to get some 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 fights and content going here right now. <laughs> Listen, I hear I, you. I enjoy the Suns, 
I like the Suns. I want Chris Paul to win a title. I want right. if we're, I do too. If we're going to do the thing where we think Chris Paul is going to get all the way to the, the to the NBA Finals healthy again next again. year. Right. Like, yeah, come no, on. That's a solid yeah. point. That's, what, that's a that's solid what I'm point. Saying. You know, yeah. that, that's what the heat made on with Goran Dragic this year. <laughs> right. Yeah. And well, we saw how that shit rolls. Like, right. you, that was don't foolish. do that. <laughs> This yeah. is foolish. your chance. Foolish. This is your opportunity. Wait, wait, Shabon, what was it? Foolish. 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 <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. I mean, like, this ain't gonna be the same fucking finals next year. It's not. It's no, really not. That 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 won't. Yeah. You not think Chris as, stays? I think he stays, but they're not if coming he gets back. Paid. How how much do you think he's looking? They're gonna pay him. Somebody they should pay. They don't have a choice. But somebody pay. paid his money. It ain't my money. Pay him. Yeah. Listen, you Phoenix. Right, you gotta right. pay somebody. Who, who else you gonna get? <laughs> you gotta do that once the stay is helping your young stars. You, know, you gotta right. Kevin Johnson ain't walking through that door. I, I think he stays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's staying. But he's the, the thing Who's is, coming they, up. All right, who they, in the East? They better get a fucking that. backup point guard. If in, in the yes. East, if uh, that's gonna be a dog fight. I if still not everybody's healthy. Brooklyn. If everybody's healthy, I'm I'm not counting out Boston anymore. Um, I'm not counting if Brooklyn's healthy, get the fuck out of here. I guess we can't even but think about it. We can't really talk about Boston because they we got don't moves. know what they're gonna look like. They don't exactly. know, right? And we don't Brooklyn, know what we gonna look like. Well, listen, well, I was just know. gonna say, I think the Miami <laughs> Heat are gonna make it to the finals. I think Steph Curry's gonna lead us there. Um, I think he's gonna drop like fifty. Um, I think Damian Lillard off the bench is going to be phenomenal yeah, for us. Yeah, I mean, uh, a, a combination of Steph, Kawhi, Beal, Bam, and and Butler. I mean, yeah, yeah, you're, you know, it's going to be hard to contend with. Yeah, right. even, and of course, even if Brooklyn is healthy. Yeah. And of course, you know, my man Drip Drop, he's going to go off for like 40, 50, 60 points, averaging something like that. I, I mean, I don't, in, I don't know. We'll see. In Boston. I don't know, man. I just, I'm, 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 I'm just really, I got like two more cereal Stack boxes. I just got to figure out what I'm going to so do with them. Weird. It's gonna be stale as fuck by now. And Kawhi but. gonna be on the bench rehabbing. Right. Yeah, it just came uh, partially he, torn. So where did that come from? He gonna come back. What do you mean what? I mean, we know where it from. came from, but like, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, that's a weird. It's a weird like, history with the uh, health diagnosis from his teams and stuff, man. That's I don't know what's going on there. He can't keep pointing the finger at all these doctors. Up. Oh. <laughs> oh, Moose said we go, get that thirty. <laughs> 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 Moose said he's done. Damn. I Damn. Stuck. That's funny. <laughs> but yeah, no, that is unfortunate. Kawhi's what? Yeah, you he can't keep pointing the finger. He can't keep pointing else. the fingers at everybody else. It's his body is breaking down. Yeah, he looked like he, he played like an old man. I just don't get it. Like he looked, he in shape. Like, <laughs> yes, but like his movements but it's are degenerative. So, like, his knees like, are degenerative, so it's yeah. never gonna be. They're it's, never gonna be right. Moves. What happened? Well, you were trying okay, to come in done. for like the after show or something. <laughs> what? No, Moose turned his mic right. off. Oh right. my god! This Moose, well you really? You. Yeah, I was gonna do my uh, my emails before bed. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> How's your wrist? How you doing, bud? How you doing, bud? You all right? You want to do a cutout? You ain't do a... that. <laughs> your wrist. We can do a cutout to get you know get out of here on the joke. <laughs> the, the joke was in the wrist. Right. Right. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, no. See, I mean, God. Do you need me to I'm reset sorry. the timer, guys? I thought we had this planned out. I've been drinking. <laughs> <laughs>